For those of you who are new here, I would like to share a little bit more of my backstory. I grew up in New South Wales in a really small country town back in the 60s and the 70s. Colour TV hadn't made it that far. Colour photography was really just beginning, but I didn't have any access to coloured pictures of artworks. There were no art galleries. However, on the walls of my classroom, there were these paintings. It was um, the, the Degas's ballerinas, uh, the Wild Horses by Franz Marc, um, Paul Klee slaying Sinbad. And it wasn't until later that I realised that these were reproductions. But it really didn't matter because my love of art had been born. I wanted to make other people feel like I felt. I actually wanted to do paintings like they did. I knew then that I wanted to become a painter. I wanted to become an artist. I felt that this was my destiny. High school, I ticked all the boxes. I got first in two unit art, first in three unit art, and my major work was selected for Art Express. So on to higher education. I really wanted to do a diploma in art, but didn't have the means. So I gratefully accepted a teacher scholarship and I did a Bachelor of Education in Art and I became a high school visual arts teacher. My dream was starting to fade. I had to get it, I had to put it on the shelf. And this was really painful because it was almost like it was admitting that, well, you know what, you're really not good enough to make it as a full-time artist. Um, you know, the artists always starve. And so the naysayers were actually right. I couldn't make it as a full-time artist. My children grew up, they left home, I retired. I had time, I had space, and now I could pursue this dream of becoming an artist. I could go and slay the dragon, I could go all in. But I started to ask myself these questions. So where do I begin? A lot of my skills weren't as good as they had been. I needed to start again. What sort of an artist did I want to do? Do I want to be a watercolour? Do I want to be acrylic? So many questions. So where do I go? So I ended up looking online, of course, and I decided um, to go to a boot camp in California at Watts Atelier. And this school was run by Jeff Watts, and it is a school that teaches traditional drawing skills um, in anatomy, um, portraiture, still life, um, landscape. I ended up enrolling in the Watts Online School. The standard was extremely high. I couldn't progress from lesson to lesson unless I passed the last one at about an 80%. So I failed many, many times. And this was just in the drawing phase. One thing that I did learn was that this pencil, a sharpened charcoal pencil with a long tapered point, is the foundation for painting. It was through using this pencil that I was able to actually have large areas of value. I could manipulate all of the edges and my dexterity really improved. For some reason, this point seems to mirror the actual brush of how you push and you pull it. As well as I was introduced to Bridgman, I was introduced to Loomis, Gurney, all of these incredibly um, gifted artists who, has, who have given so much um, to the art world. I have become aware of all those artists who have painted the pathway before me and I have collected a huge art library as well as some drawing tools. I'm making progress on my art skills but I need feedback. So I decided to connect with Stefan Bauman, the artist from The Grand View, the US TV show. And we speak at 4.30 weekly. We talk about focal points, about light, about technique. So now this is going really well. 
and Stefan talks to me about marketing. Marketing? So where is your artist statement? Where is your bio? Where is your website? Where are your videos? Where are you going to exhibit? So how do I market myself? Where do I start? So I enrolled in this course called Making Money, Making Art by Anne Ray. Then I did the Profit Canvas by Alexis. And I was able to connect with seven other artists and I'm still in contact with them today. We are called the International Art Alliance. We have been sending individual artworks around the world. Each one of us does a layer and we send it on. We have an exhibition pending. If you would like to know more, there's a link in the bio you can click. Still, I could not get my head around this marketing. I struggled with things like Google Docs links. Social media, what platform do I choose? I ended up doing a free Instagram challenge with Lindsay Barry. Later on, I signed up for her coaching program. What was great about Lindsay was that she taught me the skills and the techniques of using things like Canva, Eventbrite, how to build a website. What had happened before was that I actually knew that I needed to post on social media, but I didn't know how to make the posts. I didn't understand how to do a newsletter. I didn't understand how to do a group email in something like MailChimp. Lindsay helped me with these skills. So I was starting to build courses and getting this really good, I was getting a concept worked out about what I wanted my business to look like. And Lindsay encouraged me to write my first book, which is Exploring Yourself as an Artist. And this is really a book to help beginners get started on their art journey. So in this book, I talk about a simple oil painting color palette. I talk about some of the roadblocks that you may have. We have a chapter on light and also about how we can start a painting. Now, each one of these exercises is linked to a YouTube video. The description is also down below. Without the help and the knowledge that I learned from Watts Atelier, from Stefan Bauman and my marketing coach, Lindsay Barry, I wouldn't have been able to have put together uh, four solo exhibitions, one in Tamworth, Newcastle, three here on the Central Coast. As well, I have taught at both local art societies and I regularly have lessons here in my professional studio. I have beginner oil painting. I have a Monday mentorship group for those people who are intermediate and advanced. I have regular workshops on the weekend. What I have really enjoyed about my art journey is the knowledge that I am walking in the footsteps of others who are really accomplished, who have walked before me. So if you would like some help developing your fundamental art skills in oil painting, or if you would like to set yourself some goals or learn a little bit more about how to market yourself, an artist statement, a bio, how to talk about your artwork, then I'm here to help you. Go to www.shirawilcoxart and thank you so much for being here. Bye for now.